think this otter is using me like using me like the hawks have been using me to try and flush out game little bugger focus damn it Well, there we go. Yeah, at least catch the bum feathers. It's a goodbye to a new year. Oh, yeah, okay. Hello, do New Year. Goodbye to a shitty old year. Welcome to a shitty new year. Full of police heads trying to... I don't know. Incite the dumbed-down masses into beastliness as... Says they can have relief from their... Warped, twisted minds through... I don't know, something akin to a cultural revolution? Is that... The plan for 2004? Apparently, I don't know, and quite frankly, I've given up on trying to stop it. Gotta respect your wills. <clears throat> well, that and the fact that it's rather futile. Anything I put on YouTube gets either changed or ch taken down or restricted, so. I can't even upload this one statement warning you people about you've removed all your hydrocarbons from the lithosphere. <clears throat> you, you, I showed you how to drill into deep hot rock and make new stuff by injecting well and CO2 and all that other stuff and pointed the way to science you already know very well, including associated technologies that are, you know, like, like a arc drill and um, carbon piping and well again I I just say it's it's clear that suicide by enraged beastified dumbed down peasant is, is, is the way you've chosen to go and to take them with you and regrettably most all the life on the planet because again you've sucked all the hydrocarbons out which were the cosmic ray shielding to <clears throat> get you through a mild Ragnarok style space weather storm and um, you know without it well it would be like like having no ice around your ship out in out in deep space and well Getting blasted by cosmic radiation. So there you go. You're, well, only, only in this case, it starts off all kinds of fusion <clears throat> through naturally occurring nucleides such as U-238, uranium-235 outcroppings, and deep ore beds. It's actually the deep ore beds that give you the uh, majority of your volcanoes. As I've explained, the explosive ones, that's a result of seawater being subducted down into the ground along with the folding plate and there's your hydrogen generator. As soon as it gets hot and pressurized enough, the water splits. <laughs> Again though, <clears throat> carbon, hydrogen, these, these, these are things if you don't have enough down there. Well, you get all these basically nuclear reactors going off, which, you know, is about 43% of the uh, average heat.
generated self heat from the core that doesn't you know well I guess it does come in from the sun but <clears throat> you know cosmic rays get in there and help heat up as they slow down and uh, but more importantly this is you know nuclear generated like having a bunch of Chernobyls and three mile islands and Fukushima is deep down in the core until you get well explosive disruptions and that's where you're at you, you've stripped the veil out of my earth and well now you're gonna have to pay the price <clears throat> you got a way to get going now would be a good time before the <clears throat> storm rolls in because um, you won't be going once it heads you won't be going back to anywhere in fact if you don't find a place like earth well that's your problem So there you are, make your informed decisions. Like I've been telling you from the start up, you were all you were all set up and now you realize it. Even the good doggone that your GMO masters, your Monsanto masters that created you eight thousand or so years ago, or recreated in for genetic patenting purposes, mutated you a little, you know, throw a little, oh, this, this should make them easier to control. And they took the remnants of, of what the last Ragnarok 13,000 years ago didn't destroy, and, um, you know, there you go. They were being set up to commit a crime and make slaves and and they just passed it on. Obviously, um, the same people that have the designs on my Earth's core also have designs on whatever life worlds they uh, inhabit or indigenous to or possess. Because uh, they get blamed for doing the Earth and, you know, And they lose out, and you have all these pieces of neutronium from exploded planets, such as my Earth's going to become, like in the first episode of Truth and Survival. Um, so you knew whether you wanted to actually look at the science and see what was shit and what was shining all over. Well, that's again. Your responsibility, your will to look or to remain calm and worryless and not bother. Hey, have a happy 2014, y'all. You earned it. Bye bye.